Hey, what's up guys? It's Louis Beasley and I'm bringing something new and unique to the table today. Something I've been very eager to try out and I finally got my hands on a pair. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing this name right, but it's called the Smart Omi G True Wireless Earbuds. That being said, let's have a closer look. Now, you guys know how I am about product presentation and going the extra mile. That said, I was surprised to find a carrying case included with these earbuds. Way to go, Smart Omi. Now, inside the box, you'll find a storage carrying case one pair of Smart Me G headphones, one micro USB charging cable, two pairs of ear tips, and a user manual. If you haven't noticed already, these earbuds come completely wireless. There's no wire that rests around your neck. That being said, not having a wire around your neck took a little bit of getting used to for me, but after a day or so, it felt completely normal. On top of each earbud, you have three buttons a volume up and down button, and in the center, a multi-function button. On the bottom of each earbud, you have a micro USB charging port for charging the earbud and a microphone for talk. Now these have a nice black finish with a carbon fiber looking finish on the outer portion of the earbuds. The first thing I noticed when opening these earbuds were they were a little bigger than I expected. Not large by any means, but slightly bigger than some of its competitors. In terms of size, they're about an inch and a half in length. So we're talking small, but bigger than your average size earbuds. Now these come with a built-in 95 milliamp battery, which provides about five hours of music listening or talk time, if the volume is at 40% or lower. Uh, yeah, I know. Pairing these earbuds with my phone was super easy. You can choose to pair these in stereo mode, meaning both earbuds are synced together and function as a pair, or you can just simply pair one earbud and let the spouse or friend use the other one. Hey, it's yours, so you can do whatever you want to with it, right? <laughs> now, once you have both earbuds paired, you can listen to streaming audio in stereo mode. Also, you won't have to worry about pairing both earbuds in the future. They'll always pair in stereo mode when both of them are powered on, and on top of that, when you power off one earpiece, the other one will automatically power off as well. Now, although that's cool and all, unfortunately, the not so cool part is when using these for phone conversation, the audio signal will only come through via one earpiece. So when the person on the other end is speaking, you will only hear it through one earbud, even though they are paired in stereo mode. Now here's another stinker. Just about everyone I spoke with via phone call complained that I sounded low in volume and far away. That could be due to the microphone being on the bottom of the earbuds rather than somewhere on the front and or just a potentially cheap microphone. I'm not really 100% sure what's going on there. But what I do know is that these earbuds are very comfortable. Over the last year, the ear hook style earbuds have really grown on me. They do a really good job of stabilizing the earbuds to your ear and these Smart Omi G's don't disappoint in that area either. I also like the fact that these are sweat proof. So if you want to use them while working out in the gym or even out in the yard, you have that sweat protection in place and won't have to worry about these being damaged or sliding out of your ears. Okay, Lewis, cut to the chase and tell us how these things sound. Well, okay, if you really wanna know, here it is. They sound awesome. I didn't expect these truly wireless earbuds to sound as good as they sound, partly because they're small and fully wireless, but I was wrong. For those of you questioning the bass, let me assure you that these have really good bass. Now, as picky as I am in regards to sound quality, I have no complaints in regards to the sound quality of these earbuds whatsoever. But I do have some complaints, and this brings me to my likes and gripes. Let's start off with my likes. First off is the sound quality of these headphones. I've been really excited about getting my hands on a pair of truly wireless earbuds, and I have to say the sound quality itself took me by surprise. Second of all, the included storage carrying case is a cherry on top of your cake. They went a little bit of an extra mile and added that for you to store these away, so that is another plus. Third, I like how these earbuds sync and operate as one pair of earbuds, especially the power one-off, both turn-off feature. In addition to that, having the option to use the earbuds as a pair or individually is another added plus. Last but not least is the price. For what you're getting here in terms of latest and greatest style, sound quality, and overall quality under $50, 
<laughs> I don't think I need to say more. But I do need to let you know what my gripes are in regards to my experience. My first and biggest gripe about these earbuds is the placement of the microphone. I truly believe the reason people have a hard time hearing me on a phone call is because of the microphone placement. Secondly is the mono audio during phone conversations. I mean, this is 2017 and you're providing two earpieces. I'm pretty sure we have the technology to split that mono signal into a left and right signal with a little bit of effort. <laughs> Third, when doing my research, I noticed a small trend of people complaining about the earbuds dropping out of stereo mode intermittently. Sadly, I have to say I experienced the same thing. At times, the right ear would just drop out for a second and come back in. Sometimes it would drop out completely and I was forced to power it off and then power it back on. And then last but not least is the battery life. Let's just say five hours really isn't long enough for me. Most of my flights are at least five hours or longer, so these wouldn't be ideal for me to travel with. On the flip side, most people work out for about one to two hours max. So if you're just going to the gym to work out and run a few errands and come home, these likely will be ideal in that case. But overall, I was really pumped up about these earbuds, but unfortunately, I feel like there's still some rough edges that need to be improved. Not a bad pair of earbuds at all. There's just some annoying quirks that will likely negatively affect the user experience. That said, you kind of get what you pay for here. So in closing, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you're not subscribed, let's change that right now. I'm sure you can see my face right there in that circle. Go ahead and click on it and join the family. Any questions or comments you may have, leave me a comment down in the comment section. I read them all. That said, I'll see you all in the next video. Sound you later.